banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room. Let's look at air superiority on your Game Boy Color with Army Men Air Combat. Enjoy. In color. That's right, it's like having a little airwolf in your pocket, or at least a portable version of Jungle Strike. It's Army Men Air Combat from 2000 for the Game Boy Color. In color. Look at the color. Did you miss the color? Because if you did look again, there's green. Lots of it. Can't green plastic army guys and tan plastic army guys just get along? Well, apparently not because there's a whole lot of these games. The Army Men series. A somewhat non-violent, non-threatening war game series based on those little plastic toys that kids today probably have never seen before. And the whole digital army men thing kind of defeats the point because the best part of playing with army men was melting them. Also, you could blow them up with fireworks or take a soldering iron to them and melt them to the chest of your G.I. Joe figure so they looked like Kawato from Total Recall. Yeah, this, the <laughs> this is how I played with my toys. Why I turned out the way I did. Now fortunately, this is a lot safer than playing with your dad's old soldering iron, but only half as much fun. That thing was awesome. It's uh, pretty much impossible, as far as I'm concerned, to look at this game and not compare it directly to the excellent Jungle Strike or Desert Strike series. Except it's obviously a lot smaller, less detailed, and it doesn't have a scoring system. Something that I think this game really could use. Instead, you're just playing through a storyline. There's a lot of different missions, and you'll be blowing up the tan army guys in a wide variety of ways with a couple different helicopters. Also, there's insects and flowers and other little things that may belong in your backyard. Referencing those days back in the Stone Age when kids would play in their backyard. The days before video games. Which I don't really remember because I had an Atari. But I still liked to take my toys outside. It was easier to drown them and throw them that way and blow them up and run over them with bikes. You could also mash them into model cars and then light the whole car on fire like they were trapped. <laughs> I'm basically like that bad guy kid from Toy Story. Anyway, back to this game, which has a lot of missions, many of which can be very challenging because it's not immediately clear what it is you're supposed to be doing, so you have to play them over and over again until you get the hang of it. There's two different control options, very similar to Jungle Strike, and even a fairly simple password system, which is obviously completely available on the internet these days if you get stuck. Which you probably won't, because here's a pro tip from Classic Game Room, your range is typically farther than theirs, because you're a helicopter. And that's how helicopters roll, so just figure out where the enemies are and machine gun them or shoot missiles at them from a distance until they're vaporized. So, playing this game slowly, carefully, and fairly methodically is the way to go. If you just rush into missions, you're gonna get blown up. Because you'll be surrounded by tanks and gun towers before you know it. And then all of your green army guys and their green army families and their green army children will be eaten by giant ants. Don't be that guy. Don't be the one that lets down the entire green army men civilization. So a big classy game room shout out and thank you to Micaiah from Stanfield. North Carolina, who also sent along this nice drawing of Anime Mark wearing a Truxton t-shirt. I love it. I also like blowing things up with helicopters. I can't say this is the greatest helicopter game out there. It's not as good as Jungle Strike, but it's a pretty good Game Boy Color release that packs a lot of missions, a lot of action, and a lot of things to be destroyed. But try not to blow the thing up that you're supposed to be protecting during the mission. I found that out. Often. 
So thanks again, Micaiah. It's Army Men, Eric Combat on the Game Boy Color.